Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing my favorite ColourPop products of 2021. You guys know ColourPop is one of my favorite brands. They are actually sponsoring today's video which is so exciting but I'm going to be sharing with you the best of the best of the new ColourPop launches this year. So I decided to stick to only the 2021 launches since there was so much and I tried out almost everything I feel like from their line. Um, this year was so amazing for me and ColourPop because it's the year I got on their PR list. So being able to receive the collections to review has been super helpful, but also being able to work with them a few times this year is insane. Seriously, one of the nicest brands and a brand I've loved and have wanted to work with for so many years. I swear, like 2020 and 2019, I was buying like every single ColourPop launch and I was posting like all of my looks on Instagram to hopefully one day be noticed by them and it has happened this year which has been so amazing for 2021 in my YouTube journey here but anyways let's go ahead and get started so probably my favorite thing from ColourPop is their eyeshadow palettes and that's probably what I have the most of in this video but I did want to share a few other things as well so let me jump into those first this is not makeup related but the ColourPop mirrors they have been doing a lot of these little hand mirrors in their collection collections and I have been loving it especially for like the super fun collabs so I think I have like three or four of them I have the Barbie one somewhere which I also love this is the Hocus Pocus one which is so cute I always use these to get ready I don't really have like a vanity or a mirror behind me so this is like what I use to get ready also the little mini ones too the cherry collection and the Barbie one these were adorable these just get really close into your makeup so you could really see what you're doing with your eyeshadow so the hand mirrors have definitely been a hit for me this year. Now the collection that I was probably the most hyped about this year has to be the Lizzie McGuire collection. When I heard this was coming out I was like screaming inside. I was like oh my gosh I can't believe this is happening. I am obsessed with Hilary Duff. Lizzie McGuire was everything growing up. Like I don't think you guys even understand how much of a fangirl I was of her. I was like in her official fan club and everything. I went to a couple of her concerts and I did did do a meet and greet with her as well which was so cool um so my friends know this like Hilary Duff Finn was my number one personality trait I would say growing up so being such a lover of Liz McGuire and the nostalgia that's how I got into really loving her having this collection was just so exciting and I think they did a really good job with it so of course I had to include the palette I think the packaging on this was perfect and the colors that they included was also perfect for the show it reminds me of all of Lizzie's outfits the butterfly clips all of that I just think this was done so well now is this a palette I go in for and use a lot not a ton because it is very colorful but I still feel like you can do some easy looks with it going row by row I love when ColourPop does this it makes it easy to come up with looks you could do this row together this row together and so on it's definitely something I want to use a bit more but if you're feeling for something really fun and colorful this is a good one and just so cute my favorite launch from them this year uh, another favorite product in the collection I had to mention is actually these glosses this is just a plumping lip gloss. It's kind of similar to the So Juicy ones. I have a little bit of this one on today. This is the Miranda one and this is just so nostalgic because it reminds me of something that I would go get at like Limited 2 and it smells like bubble gum, which is the best just brings me back. This one does have a little bit of sparkle in it. It mostly goes on clear, but it is a thick gloss, but it really does plump up the lips. It has that minty feel that gives you the plump look. So I would definitely recommend checking these out from the Lizzie McGuire collection. Something that ColourPop did really good this year is definitely their collabs. Now I know some people might be kind of like, oh, it's too many, but I thought they did so good with everything. I got excited over pretty much every collab that came out and a lot of them made my favorites list because I don't know, just something attached to like your nostalgia and your childhood and things that you love it just makes me more excited about using the product they definitely did not skip on quality on these either so the Malibu Barbie collection is probably my second favorite thing that came out this year and I do have quite a few favorites from the line including the palette I thought this was so good this really was a standout for eyeshadow quality I was really surprised because sometimes the more colorful ones you just don't know if it's gonna be 
like amazing mid-tier or what it's gonna be like and this one was amazing for me so this was so fun it was a Malibu Barbie collection so it's more like summer themed so you have some fun yellows pinks blues like oranges in there the packaging on this is everything as well so cute it has a little mirror inside but yeah the color scheme of this was just spot on so good definitely a go-to for spring and summer for like a bright pop of color this was adorable also from the Barbie collection I fell in love with this highlighter this one is the beach party super shock one so it just has the Barbie and color pop little pink packaging and then this giant super shock highlighter I really love this formula they've done it a few times especially in these big pans but this is definitely my all-time favorite kind of feels like their super shock shadows so it's like that wet cushiony type of feel and it's just so beautiful on the skin this is the swatch this one just melts right in it just becomes one with the skin I do have a little bit of this on today not a ton you can definitely make it more bright if you want to but this was such a win for me this year definitely one of my like all-time favorite favorite highlighters of any brand this was so good I also fell in love with this lip combo. It's what I have on today besides the gloss, which was the Lizzie McGuire gloss, but this lip liner, this is in Golden Beach, is such a nice nude. It's a neutral undertone, so I wouldn't say it's super cool or super warm. That is a swatch of it. The ColourPop lip liners are really nice. They're like a nice medium consistency where it's not super hard to apply. It doesn't tug on the lips and it's not too creamy where it's sliding all over the place. So my ColourPop ones are some of my most reached for in my collection in the Golden Beach was such a good shade. They also had a matching lipstick so it came in a little set. This was just a cream lipstick from them in that same color and again it goes perfectly with the lip liner. So that's been one of my favorite lip combinations of the entire year you guys know um, I did a video on most of these collections and you guys know how excited I was for that lip combo in that review so I can't remember if this palette came out either last year or the beginning of this year it was either at the very end or the very beginning but this is the wild child palette that they came out with and I feel like this one did not get the hype that it deserves I guess the packaging wasn't like super exciting or anything but I thought this was such a beautiful color scheme it's like dark chocolatey neutrals which I love I wore this palette so much it kind of fits in with their monochromatic palettes which they kind of stopped doing it seems like but oh my gosh this was gorgeous and it works for pretty much every skin tone you can really deepen up your looks with this it has some gorgeous bronze tones in here uh, just stunning but I thought this was such a good palette it reminded me a lot of like the Huda Beauty chocolate brown obsession so definitely one of my go-to neutrals ColourPop also launched these little cheek palettes which were really good this year. They have a few blushes in them and one of the Super Shock highlighters. So I've been reaching in for these a ton for my blush looks. I just felt like the formulation of these were really nice. Just super soft and creamy. They gave me the perfect amount of pigmentation and you guys know how I feel about their highlighters. So this is the Just a Flush cheek palette. So, so good. This one might work as a bronzer but I would just use it as a blush personally. And this is the Born to blush for a little bit more of a peachy tone. I kind of like to keep one more peachy and one more pink on hand just to kind of have a look for whatever I'm going for that day but these were really nice this year. Another favorite collab this year from ColourPop has to be the Tinkerbell collection. I know ColourPop collabs with Disney a lot and this one just really blew me away especially the eyeshadow palette. This was such good quality and it's colors that I'm obsessed with so this is the Sprinkle a Little Magic palette. Look at this color story. It's so pretty. I love the greens in here. This was so, so good. I like that you can do some color and also a neutral look, but this is so nice to work with. Really great quality. It has a mirror inside and the packaging is just stunning. There was a couple Super Shocks that also came out with this collection, which were also nice. But I have to also give a shout out to these two blushes as well. I'm wearing this one today, which is Darling, the Super Shock Cheeks. Again, this is one of my favorite cream blushes from ColourPop. I've tried 
tried pretty much all the formulas, but these are always a favorite. I just feel like they have really good pigmentation and they apply nice on the cheeks. So this color in Darling is stunning. It's a really nice mid-tone color. So it kind of goes with any look you want. It leans a little bit more peachy though. Here is the swatch. As you can see, it's super pigmented and just very smooth in the packaging. Again on these, I love the green sparkle. And then also, this had the Magic Moon in here. This is more of a bright coral. This one's always fun for like the summertime and it has some shimmer to it. But yes, I absolutely have been loving these this year. The Super Shock Cheeks are a must and to have the cute packaging along with it is always a plus. And then also these two lip products were really fun too. I like that these were neutral colors and this is in their new formula, the Glossy Lip Stain that came out this year, which I thought these were pretty good. I feel like not everyone loved these, but I did. I think I like these even better than the actual creams that they came out with in the Fresh Kiss line. I just like that these actually stain the lips a little bit but they still had a glossy finish I just felt like they didn't move around as much as the creams did so these are the shades clap if you believe and then Tinkerbell you know I'm a sucker for neutral so <laughs> had to mention those as well they go on a little bit more sheer but that's why they are more of a stain. if you guys have not tried their lip oils these are really nice too I know lip oils were a huge trend this year and I feel like they're still gonna be popular in 2022 these are just nice to have for every day like I will throw these in my bag, have them in my car. I just always want to have a lip product on and these don't really offer a ton of color, but they're going to give you a really juicy, just plump, nice, glossy finish. So I picked out the Star Wars Mandalorian one because I'm a sucker for cute packaging, of course. So this is in Din Jardin. I'll swatch it so you guys can see, but yeah, it just offers a tiny sheer wash of color, but really just hydrates and gives a little bit of gloss to the lips. So those had to be mentioned. I know they have a lot of shades. They're in a lot of different collections, but the Star Wars one is pretty cute. I also had to shout out this really cute Super Shock Disney collab that they came out with this year. Like the whole presentation of this is beautiful. So this is the Heart of Gold Super Shock Shadow Vault. I'm missing this one here. I'm pretty sure that's the one I used on my eyes in yesterday's video. I got tons of compliments from you guys on, but I'm kind of a mess and I don't know where the heck I put it, but this is adorable. I know it's on sale right now. I forgot to mention that ColourPop is doing like a site-wide sale. I'm not sure for how long. I know it's for the end of the year, 25% off. So you can buy this entire little set. It's actually pretty affordable and it has a super shock shadow for each princess, which is so cute. So one color represents each princess and I really love the super shocks. These are just really easy to throw on when you're in a rush and you can play with color. It's that creamy formula again. They're very pigmented and have gorgeous shimmer. So I was wearing some of the minty ones. I know I was wearing a little bit of the Ariel one in my video yesterday. I think a little bit of Tiana's as well. But yeah, this is a must. I think it's so adorable and I'm keeping <laughs> this packaging forever because it's just so cute with all the princesses on there. And so then I have just a few more palettes to go here. I had to mention the Lush Life palette. This one came out in the summertime and this was probably one of the best ColourPop palettes of the year. I was so impressed with this one, especially with these bright tropical colors. Sometimes those can be hard to do, but these were pigmented. They blended out so nice. And I did like one of my favorite looks ever with this palette when I reviewed it. It was so fun, just these bright tropical shades for the summertime beautiful so lush life is a must especially if you love color this is good it rivals some of my high-end palettes for sure and then i wanted to mention a couple of their large palettes too so the it's a mood palette came out this year and i just thought this was so well put together like the color scheme and everything this is another fun like colorful palette so you have a lot that you can do with this one i find that sometimes these big palettes can just be a little repetitive but this one was great because you can go row by row and create a really fun monochromatic look i did use this one for my look today and I did put that glitter on there. I don't usually love the pressed glitters that are in the palettes but I thought for New Year's Eve I'll go ahead and put some on the eyes today. So I have mostly actually this row on and then I added that little glitter but 
it's really good quality. I love all the colors featured in here. So I definitely think all around, this is a really nice palette to have. And then I was also very impressed with the Smoke and Roses palette that came out pretty recently. Now this one, it is a little bit repetitive, but I love these tones. Uh, just the pinks and the rosy tones. They have my heart. There's some cool tones in here. I thought this was really beautiful. I did a couple different looks with this one in my review. I'll, probably, I'll try to link some of my reviews down below too if you guys want to see these more in action but if you guys love pinks you will absolutely love this palette the quality is really good on this one it's kind of a dupe of like the Tarte Juicy palette or like Natasha Denona Retro if you like that kind of a vibe you would love this so I thought this one was a must I usually don't like the big palettes but I do have two favorites for this year. So that is going to complete my 2021 ColourPop faves. I hope you found this video helpful because I know they do launch so many things. It's hard to know what's actually good. I can tell you all of these items I mentioned perform amazingly. If you love the fun Disney collabs and stuff like that, you would really enjoy these items. I cannot wait to see what ColourPop is going to be coming out with for 2022. But thank you so much for watching and thank you to ColourPop for sponsoring and just kind of making my year, honestly. They're seriously one of my favorite, favorite brands, and I'm so excited to be able to share some of my favorites of the year. So that is going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.